poverty trends in indian economy trends of poverty so poverty trends in indian economy the trends of poverty as unevenly unequally lies in a world economies unequally lies in a world economies poverty trends unequally lies in world economies it is not only in india not only in india or a developing countries which are facing the problem of poverty but this problem is building its roots in all the regions of world <laughs> different regions of world highly affected by the poverty trends so the reasons responsible for the poverty trends in a world economies poverty not only as a lies in india the large number of a people under poverty which are unable to complete their basic necessities are living in a african continent <coughs> african continent but as similar to this the other economies the dev developed economies in such economies are still as poverty trends are lies so what are the reasons responsible for reasons responsible for the uneven distribution of a poverty in world economies in world economies first uneven distribution of distribution of resources uneven distribution of resources uneven distribution of resources one of the root causes responsible for the uneven uh, sorry uneven presence of a poverty in a world economies if the all economies they will having as a same number of a minerals agriculture it will be as a possible then under such circumstances <laughs> all the economies they will grow as such the same pace with the same speed all economies of a world they will grow all economies of world they will grow if the if <coughs> natural resources available as the equally in a all world economies in all world economies so uneven distribution of resources influencing the uneven existence of a poverty trends in economy poverty trends in economy due to uh, second reason second reason growth rate of populations second is a growth rate of population <coughs> Pop growth rate of population worlds two third of the population two third of population living in a parts of africa and asia africa and asia which has constitutes the 40 percentage of a total surface area of the world two third of population existing in a parts of africa and asia the two countries india and <coughs> india and china which are constitutes the half of the world's population india possessing as a 135 More than the one thirty crores of a population, and China possessing as the one fifty crores of population. So these two countries constitutes as the almost half of the population of world, half of the population of the world. But as per in area wise, they are constitutes as a seventeen to eighteen percentage of total surface area, the land area of world. Due to as a large number of the workforce present in a economies. present in economies which has responsible for the poverty in economies poverty in economies yes gurupal poverty directly proportional to the population those for example when we are talking about the india in our country <coughs> number of people these are increasing as the as per the alarming rate but as according to the individuals services are not improving job opportunities are not improving country it can't be as providing as a work work services income food items to the people then their end result it has comes in a form of a poverty so those which are not unable to complete their basic needs as the under poverty they are the below poverty line 
high growth of population as per the growth of population country is not adequately improving their economic standards that's why as the poverty lies in a differently in a world economies third is a economic developments economic growth of economies economic development <coughs> of economies economic development of economies all the economies of a world they are not improving or are developing at the same pace they are differently developing some economies are they becomes the developed some are still as developing like as india and some are the underdeveloped which are dependent on others dependent on others which are influenced by the growth and development of economy growth and development yes anybody what is as a difference between of growth and development or both are the synonyms <clears throat> growth and development are synonyms or antonyms yes who will answer i'm having a set 60 plus individuals are there students are there yes yes anybody can anybody explain what is as the difference in between of a growth and development or both are synonyms both are synonyms or antonyms who will answer <clears throat> 18 roll number both the classes 9c and d gurshan said growth is defined as the development of a person in weight and age okay then what about the development <clears throat> simply what do you understand by these two terms growth and development these are not a newer for you yes ansha <clears throat> sir growth is a quantitative aspect whereas development is qualitative aspect Good. and growth is a continuous process and development can be increased and decreased with the no number of inputs okay yes titiksha what do you want to say <clears throat> titiksha yes sir Adi, growth is purely physical sense and development is all over physical mental emotional social or moral or anything uh, growth is a part of development process development is complex and comprehensive process very good both are correct <clears throat> let's we talk regarding as a first ansha ansha said growth is a quantitative aspect quantitative aspect which can be as a measure as a tidiksha also said which is as a physical aspect physical growth of individual physical growth of individual brijesh when it was entered in a school education in a nursery class it was as a small kid after completion of a 12 years his height improves his weight also increases muscles develop muscles develop which indicates as a growth <clears throat> growth is a continuous process after a span of time if the not not a proper adequate food items given to the individual but the growth will continuously occur to a level improves in the last 12 years last 12 years which indicates as a development in relation to the economy country's population increasing if we not as a contributes in a growth of economy but it will be as a occur population will increase it may be as a occur birth may as a increase but the deaths it may also more as compared to the deaths but change will occur change will occur in economy birth ke comparatively death badh sakti hain that's it can be as a control due to as a development medical facilities by giving as a more inputs medical facilities health education knowledge then the awareness now presently as a birth rate is a regularly as increasing but the death rate controls in our country due to as a improvements in a medical facilities availability of a services so growth in economies uneven growth in economies it impact over the poverty trends poverty trends as the gushan said the trends occur from india towards as a developed economies which has lead to the brain drain brain drain from india brain drain from india then after the 20 years 20 30 years what will be as a what kind of situation will exist in our country there will be as a population will exist in our country what kind of population population which will be as above the age of 50 60 years which are at their age of retirement or either 
that that type of a young population it will be as a present in our country which uh, which which would as the unskilled unskilled or the illiterate the literate population completion of 10 12 they are moving towards a developed economies for following as a trend they are following as a trend then they will be as illiterate population unskilled population or the elders they will be as a remain which will be as a disastrous for a indian economy it will be the disastrous for indian economy so due to as a uneven economic growth of economies impact over a poverty trends poverty as a unequally lies in a world economies get it <clears throat> so what are the trends which are lies in a world economies in relation to the poverty <clears throat> in relation to poverty as a there is a fall in a global poverty fall in global poverty in last one century half century last century or mid of the 20th century last decade of our 20th century when we are seeing as a <clears throat> poverty trends decrease first heading as the fall in a poverty fall in global poverty according to the world bank <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> the world bank which has defines defines the poverty a person spending 1 dollar in a day 1 dollar in a day is considered above poverty line person consider as the above poverty line but when we <clears throat> convert 1 dollar in a rupees it will be the 70 more than the 70 rupees approximately as a more than the 70 rupees 72 73 i think it's a change rate is okay 75 is a change rate is now as going on but when we are talking about the india's condition in relation to the poverty 32 rupees spending by the individual is considered as above poverty line above poverty line means as the world bank's definition in relation to the poverty covers the two of the individuals two of individuals which indicates that since <clears throat> independence 1947 to the present the last 70 years the poverty reducing in india it reduce in india it also reduce in uh, other asian countries european countries america also such economies earlier uh, which were earlier as the facing the problem of the workforce such workforce as easily moving moving and migrating from uh, asian and african countries towards the uh, developed economies developed economies workforce moving towards as the developed economies for a work <clears throat> such kind of the workforce make possibilities for a growth of population by the manufacturing of a goods production of a goods such economies now as a surviving in a good condition yes tatiksha excuse me sir <clears throat> some economies some countries india and china population with increase in a population poverty trends they are the decreasing but when we are comparing at the time of independence if the 50 percentage of a total population 35 crores of a total population out of which as a 50 percent lies under the poverty 50 percent means as a 70 <clears throat> 18 crores of india's population at the time of independence under the poverty in 2021 if the total population has crossed a 130 crores 130 crores it's 30% 30% it will be as a near about 30 to 35 crores at the time of uh, independence of 17 18 crores people under poverty now as a presently as a 30 to 35 crores <clears throat> in totality with increasing as a population with increasing the population of proportion reduce but in reality as a number of the poor people's increase as almost as a double presently as a 30 35 crores of a population if they are living as a under poverty which is as the double to the that population of india which was as the 18000 sorry 18 crores at the time of independence which were under the poverty proportion as reduce <clears throat> proportion reduce 50 to the 30 percent now as a remaining but the as per the growing population growth of population a number of poor peoples increased number of poor people 
increase in India, but the proportion to the total population reduced. Clear, Tadiksha? Proportion of a population, 50 to the 30 percent now as a remaining. 30 percent is remaining now in a present. Tadiksha, clear? Second, second heading. Wait, somebody, yes, Goshan asked that how the poverty reducing the prices of things of everyday use is increasing. In poverty, when the poverty trends are lies in India, when we're talking about India, due to as a poverty, prices are not reducing. Government given as the goods at the subsidized rates, subsidized rates. Such taxes which are collected from the middle class families or the rich families, such this is as a source of the income. Government uses such income for providing as a various number of the services. Such kind of the services in which the one of it as the to feed their population. So for which government given as a food items at subsidized states, neither for all. Goshan, it can't purchase as a two rupees per kg, three rupees rice at such amount, it can't purchase because it has only given to the such groups which are economically backward. This has checked by the government to the economic surveys. When uh, volunteers, they are coming towards your houses to ask a question related with the census, they are calculating that a number of people which are not having as a jobs. That's why this, that particular section, that section, that part of our Jalandhar, they are highly affected under the poverty. That region, that particular locality, it needs as the services for which as government has providing services, providing programs, poverty alleviation programs are not for the, all the sections of society. These are only targeted to the such sections which are highly affected under the poverty. So poverty due to as a poverty, prices of the goods reducing in a such areas where Poverty tents are highly vulnerable, highly affected. It has lies as a highly in a such economies for which government makes as the programs, policies. When Malega has introduced, Malega introduced, it was at the earlier introduced in a Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, in a southern states, where due to as the climatic conditions, jobs were not possible to provide to the people. So for which as increase in a job opportunities for survival for which as a Mandega provided the job opportunities. Then afterwards, as, as per the existing trend, the movement of a population, movement of a population from Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal towards Punjab, now as Mandega has lies in our state also. Why we consider the Punjab as the, one of the prosperous states of India, Punjab and Haryana, prosperous states. Due to as a prosperity, there is no need of a, such employment generation programs. But due to the migration, migration of population from a less developed areas towards a Punjab, Haryana, it now as leads to the responsible for the responsible for the more economic growth. Clear, Gushan? Clear. Second, as a regional variations, regional variations regional variation, variations. The global poverty is reducing, but with the vast regional variations, poverty has declined substantially in a China and a Southeastern Asian countries. Southeastern Asian countries due to rapid economic growth and massive investments in human resource development. But the pace of reduction of poverty in a southeastern Asian countries is very slow. Is very slow. It's due to as the internal problems. One example is there. India spending as their 30 percentage of the assets. The total budget provision is for the arms and ammunition for the armed forces. 30 percentage of a total budget procured for a armed forces. But as compared to India, Pakistan spending as a 65 percentage of a total economic resources for maintenance of army. Maintenance of army. You can compare with this. 
if the 65 to the 30 percent at least a 30 percent pakistan spending on a growth of an economy for economic development then what will be as a situation in a pakistan in that country which which is the which is as a lesser as compared to the population to the india it will be as a becomes as a develop in the next 50 years india and pakistan which got the independent on a same time period at the time of a partition india supported economically supported the pakistan for a developmental processes but still due to as their policies it is as a lagging behind pakistan becomes as a, it became as the underdeveloped nation now as india is a developing nation we are developing we are improving our status of economic conditions as per the existing demand as per the conditions we are improving in a present economy it's happened due to as our economic policies if the planning commission not formulated in the year, ages of independent then it was not as a possible for a country to overcome such economic differences pakistan is not a developing it's an underdeveloped nation pakistan uh, gushan sorry pakistan is an underdeveloped earlier it was as dependent on us now as dependent on china for their economic growth but india is a self reliant self sufficient in the field of the growth it has moving as per their pace improving our gdp as a improving jobs are improving in it yes the diksha if the indian youth it will be moved towards abroad move towards abroad maine kaha yahan par bachega kaun fir baad after 30 years who will be as a remain in our country nobody elders nobody it will be as a remain in our country the workforce will not remains elders reh jayenge ya phir bacche honge after as a 10th which are now presently as a moving as gushan said the trend followed by the kids trend followed by the kids then who will be remains nobody if the individuals they will not there the workforce the productive workforce it will be not there how can we as a country will grow how can as a country will manufacture the things produce the things such things which are exported by india to the other economies and through which it earn the good income profits clear sir it sir it means it means that poverty is also directly proportional to workforce yes workforce working population actually tidiksha there are three types of people are there below 15 age as a children you are lies under it 15 to 59 age group is a dependent independent class and afterwards the 60 as a again dependent class above 60 as a elders you are all assets already those already as a contributed in economy are the more than 60 but a 15 to 59 age group if it will be not present in economy how can the country will survive economy needs as a workforce okay okay sir yes so fine. we need as a such population to which india it can overcome from their all such of the problems yes now gushan objective different are midday meal initiated by the government for providing as the nutritious diet to the children at least a one meal in a day to which their proper growth can occur proper normal growth it can occur most number of children in our country as a malnourished malnourished are there their growth is a directly influenced by it clear growth influenced by the not proper adequate food given to them most number of the kids they drop out from a school education due to as a poor economic conditions so at least for the incentive of a food they are coming towards the schools if they are coming towards the school they will gain something they will make themselves as they can make their future as the better as compared to the those elites so for which as a midday meal given not for the job opportunities midday meal only as a given to the kids under age group of 6 to 14 age group 6 to 14 age group gaurav we can do as a it sector we can grow as a it sector but it needs as a investment capital money who will invest that money government not having as a funds then how can as a country will grow 
for which as a foreign direct investment followed in our country liberalization i told you earlier liberalization india opted as a liberal policies in which government preferred as a foreigners have to spend their money invest their money in our economy for setting up the industries then to which as the economic growth occur more comparatively the other conditions the burden of a primary sector reduce due to as a growth in a industries clear so regional variations are occur due to as us all such of the reasons yes jab ji as a, your fundamental right right against exploitation states that child labor banned in our country below 15 years is a child labor above 15 15 to 59 is 18 is cover under a universal adult franchise which has given the opportunity to cast their votes you can cast your vote if you are 18 plus 15 onwards a person can do a work in economy it is as considered under workforce clear jab ji 18 is right to vote 18 use for a right to vote next is a third poverty trends in india poverty in india poverty in india has decline but the pace of reduction is very slow according to the world bank's definition world bank's definition 33% people of total population is still living below poverty line pay attention individuals all the students pay attention earlier i gave you as 27 to 29% according to planning commission according to planning commission which has given the definition of poverty as a 32 rupees in a day spending by a person as above poverty line but world bank's definition india in our country there are the 33 percent people are still living under poverty they are still living under poverty that's why we will continue on the next class we will start from this as a poverty in india